for the last three years you have known me as your confidence building coach and I have loved doing that and it's something that I feel that I am gifted and that I have a passion for but as you know when you're in business and you continue to do work on yourself and learning different things you realize that um, you get really clear you get clearer on who you're supposed to be serving who you are supposed to be helping and finally um, I have gotten even closer um, to um, have a better understanding of who is it that I am supposed to be working with. So as many of you know, I haven't been shy about my faith and I have been sharing uh, many posts um, that have been heavy with scripture or I have mentioned, you know, that I'm a Christian, that I'm a woman of faith or that I'm a godly woman and my social media also um, has a lot of a lot of encouraging uh, posts and uh, a lot of things that sometimes hinted and other times were you know come out as I am a woman of faith I am a godly woman and you know I happen to be in business uh, but as I continue to explore myself I realized that I do have a passion for godly women that are in business and are trying to make a difference and use their gifts in a different way but at the same time I also have a heart for godly women that are single and they're probably are also have a business but that are having an issue with um, how do I dress like a godly woman you know what what does that look like what does a, a proverb 30 first woman look like and how do I reconcile the way that I was made and with the image that I have of myself and how do I find that godly man what do I have to do and uh, as I continue to explore myself I realized that I know that woman very well because I am a godly woman who has a business and I'm also a single woman. I am a divorced mother and that's something that I had to come to terms with and, and deal with and, and I'm a godly woman and I had to get to that point and as I grow as a businesswoman, as a godly woman and put all that together, I, I have been feeling the call, I have been feeling um, that um, nagging if you will of why don't you do this? Why don't you share your testimony? Why don't you share your story, your background? And it's been scary. I've been fighting it a little bit. And uh, as I got clearer on who I needed to talk to and who I was uniquely qualified to talk to, um, then I realized that that's the kind of woman that I want to talk to. I want to talk to women that are in business, that are godly, that want to use their gifts um, to serve people that they're supposed to be serving. And for women that are godly that want to meet a godly man and want to get married but don't know what's getting in the way don't know how to dress up properly don't know um, how to deal with you know past hurts you know dealing with divorce which is a heavy heavy subject uh, for many Christians so many things and how to forgive yourself and I realize that I am the person I am the person um, that has been qualified and not by myself but but the experiences and the gifting that God has given me so that's what I decided um, to go ahead and um, clarify my message and come out to the world and say here I am I am the person that's gonna be leading you and helping you to become uh, that godly woman and to dress in a way that is fabulous but also appropriate so what does that mean you know what do we go from here do I stop and change my business uh, what's happening? Am I going away and doing, you know, going in the ministry? Um, so I just want to answer those questions for you. So no, I'm not going away. I'm still going to have my business. I love what I do. And I'm just going to combine my two passions, which is helping women in business and helping godly women that want to move forward and get married and find a godly man. I'm not becoming a, a matchmaker or a date coach. None of that. I'm going, I will continue to do um, confidence building because I feel that, that that is my gifting I'll continue to do styling because I love shopping and I love um, empowering women and helping them look the best way they can possibly can but my language is going to shift a little bit and my audience is just gonna is gotten really clear and um, what I call myself and what my business is gonna be called is gonna change to reflect uh, this newfound information, this new this newfound, the marriage of my two passions, um, and that's why you have been seeing um, on social media and in uh, in my uh, Facebook page that I have been talking about styling faith, and I thought what better way than to call 
the work and the passion that I have, but styling faith, and that is uh, resonates with the message of styling from within out, you know. So, uh, styling faith is going to be the, uh, my new business name. I am going to be transitioning things, so you'll see some changes. I will notify you so you can continue to follow me. And um, I am going to uh, change my title a little bit, um, so, or maybe a lot, and I'm, I'm going to be calling myself um, a life stylist because I feel that what I do uh, spills into every uh, every area of uh, w uh, women's lives. And um, so Styling Faith, the website will be changing. It will continue to be the same place. You'll be able to enter katherinestoring.com and get there. Uh, and very soon, and I'll let you know when that happens, it will change to stylingfaith.com. I am just very excited and thrilled and scared and <laughs> so many things at the same time because this is a big deal. I am going to be sharing, like I said, more of myself and I'm going to be doing meaning, meaningful work that I've been fighting for a while or maybe I didn't recognize um, thinking, you know, that that's not really it. You know, my dad's a preacher. He's the preacher. He's the pastor. That's not me. And I'm not going to come out full and preach, but I am going to share um I'm going to be sharing myself and I'm going to be sharing my testimony. I'm going to be sharing what I have learned. And we're going to go into scripture and we, we're going to learn um, how to walk like a godly woman, how to dress like a godly woman, and how to talk like a godly woman. So all that is coming. I just wanted to share that with you. I feel privileged to share this with you. And I know that God is going to bless everything that uh, we're going to be doing together because this uh, the way that this has come about everything down to the name of the domain for the website and getting really clear and putting it all together has been amazing because he makes things easy when we're doing what he wants us to do and i really feel this is exactly what he's calling me to do so that's my big news uh, there you have it. It's out there. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for being on this journey with me and um, better and bigger things are yet to come. And I know that we're going to be doing just fabulously and uh, I'm going to be helping you looking amazing um, with uh, putting things together, outfits and jewelry and the shoes and the hair and all of that. So you will continue to get all the styling tips from me and also some help to uh, take your godly mission to another level and also to meet that amazing godly man that you want to find. So thank you so much. Stay tuned and God bless.